Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, we are gonna be opening May's Loot Crate. This Loot Crate is one that I am particularly excited for. It is power themed, which means we're gonna have Marvel, we're gonna have Dragon Ball, we're gonna have Warcraft. Supposed to be some pretty good stuff. So if you guys aren't familiar with Loot Crate, it's a monthly subscription service. You pay a little bit less than 20 bucks, you get over $40 worth of stuff. Each month is themed. Like I said, this one is power. The next one is dystopia. You're going to have stuff from Robocop, from Fallout, from The Matrix, Bioshock Infinite, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, a, a wide variety of things, and it should be things that most of you are interested in, so it's another one you might want to check out. If you do, go to lootcrate.com slash Anthony's Customs, and you can save some money using discount code Anthony's Customs. Check it out. If you think it's cool, do it. You can do it on a per month basis. If you don't like it, don't do it. That's fine too. We're going to open this one right now, and I'm going to let you know if I think it's a good deal and if it's good stuff inside. <laughs> Last month, wasn't the case. Uh, last month I was not pleased with the Loot Crate at all. Hopefully this month is a much better. That's what I'm counting on and we're gonna find out right now. The other thing that's cool about Loot Crate and a lot of places are doing this now where you automatically get a t-shirt every month. Loot Crate's doing that but they're still only at the $20 price point so if you get a good t-shirt it pretty much means everything else is just icing on the cake because the shirts, if they're good, could easily cost 20 bucks retail, even if they only cost 10. The other stuff could easily make up the other 10 bucks you're making out in the deal. So as long as we get good shirt, the other stuff, as long as it's decent, we're good. So let's see if that's the case this time, if I can get it open. All right. It's a big crate, by the way. They're not always quite as girthy. This one's pretty girthy. So hopefully it's good stuff. They always have cool insides. Most of them you can turn inside out. Maybe all of them, I don't know. And like use them for display things. The last one had a big maze going all the way around it. First thing I see is, is it an oven mitt? I think it's an oven mitt. Let's open it. It looks like Thanos' oven mitt. Or Thanos. I call him Thanos. I know a lot of people are on the Thanos boat. I, uh, I'm not one of those. His name is Thanos. It will always be Thanos where I am concerned. Let's see what it says on the tag, other than Marvel. Infinity Gauntlet Oven Mitt. Loot Crate. It says Loot Crate. doesn't say exclusive, so I'm not sure if it is. But you do have an oven mitt now that is not big enough for my hand. I have a large hand. You can see it's not quite there. But I could probably mitt some ovens and I would be okay. So if you like unique type of things around your kitchen, you could use this. I don't really care for it personally. I don't. It, it's not going to do me any good. Doesn't feel like it's going to be all of that heat protective. But it's it's. I guess it's all right. Some of you I imagine are going to really like this and going to want to hang it in your kitchen. No big deal. That's a cool enough item. We'll see what the other items hold. So that's a Marvel thing. Here's another Marvel thing right here. This is a Q-Fig. Uh, I think this is the same company we got the Deadpool one from not that long ago. Now we have Hulk. Now we have a Hulk. Uh, I had the exclusive Deadpool in mind. This one doesn't seem to have any markings on it at all. So I don't think it's exclusive. Or not exclusive. The variant. I had the uh, X-Force Deadpool. This is just a basic Hulk. Let's open it up and see. Remember, I wanted the Deadpool to light up because it had had explosion, an explosion on it. This one doesn't have an explosion, and I need my knife to open the tape. But it does look cool. If you like Hulk, then then you get a Hulk. It's the Avengers Hulk. You can tell by his pants. It's got the little logos on there. It's nice enough if you collect vinyl things. This is one that you could definitely throw in the collection. Uh, it's a little muted. I think the colors could be a little more vibrant. I mean, vinyl things, cartoony vinyl things like this are generally meant to be more uh, happy. That kind of thing. It's a little muted, but it's aight. It's aight. And now we have a Dragon Ball item. Dragon Ball was advertised as being part of this crate. Here we have the four-star Dragon Ball with Shenron. I guess that's Shenron. It's a rather... Rather mopey looking Shenron. Not too much going on there. What does it say on the little tag? 
Dragon Ball Z Funimation. Um, is this a Christmas ornament? A backpack thingy? I don't know what this is technically supposed to be. Um, it's, it's a, it's a disappointment. I'll tell you that much. It's not a, uh, it's not a th Dragon Ball thing that I want. I wanted like a cool Dragon Ball thing, even if it's a mini Dragon Ball that's not stuffed with a little crappy Shenron on it. Yeah, I'm bummed. Bummed about the Dragon Ball item. Hopefully this shirt makes up for it. Yeah, I don't need that. Don't need a little ball of Dragon Ball. Shirt feels nice. Wait, you know what? We got Marvel. We got Dragon Ball. The only thing left is Warcraft. And there's nothing else in here, really, but the shirt. So I'm taking a guess and saying that the shirt's going to be Warcraft. Which is fine, if you like Warcraft. I'm not attached to it. I don't hate it. I don't have anything against it. I've just never really gotten into it. So... Maybe the shirt will still look cool, right? And I can still wear it. That'll be a thing that we can do. And here it is. So we have an ogre or an orc. They're called orcs, right? And looks like a human. And it says legendary and blizzard. So I'm assuming, and it looks like based on the silhouettes, it's actually from the movie. It says it's a large. It looks pretty big, but I guess that's all right. I don't... Uh, it's not it's not a particularly impressive shirt to say the least. It's good enough. It's it's generic enough that I think you could get away with wearing it out out in public without looking like a doofus because some of the shirts you get like this one's not too bad. This is from a different crate. It's not really that comfortable though to be honest. Uh this shirt, the loot crate shirts tend to be really soft, sometimes too thin but pretty soft. Anyway, you could wear this if you wanted to. We do have a loot crate exclusive pin. And I can't really, I don't know what that's supposed to be. What, uh, what is that? Some robot thing. So, that's it? Is that it? That can't be it. That's it. Guys, we haven't had good luck with the loot crates and the other things and all of these subscription boxes. You always get one of these, the little booklet that just talks about the stuff that's inside. Like, you really need that. I don't know. Yeah, this crate was a bummer for me. Didn't care for the shirt, don't need an oven mitt, don't need a vinyl figure, don't need a stuffed Dragon Ball. Like, none of that is stuff that I'm happy to have. I'll wear this shirt, probably. Won't use the oven mitt, don't care about the Hulk, and don't care about the stuffed Dragon Ball. I am disappoint. Not happy. Next month, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff in it. We have one, two, three, four, five... Five different franchises in that crate. It's going to be hard to get a good item out of one of those if there's that many things because the value has to be proportionate. So I don't know. I don't know. If you're interested, again, check it out. LootCrate.com slash Anthony's Customs. Save yourself some money with Anthony's Customs as your discount code. And hopefully we'll get a good crate. We've had some great ones. Last, w last month's was not great. This one's very average for me. Eh, not happy about it, really. Not. Uh, I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.